Hello, my soccer universe. Uh, to the review of uh, Eredivisie and Ligue 1. And I think I established that order now that we'll first do the Eredivisie and then Ligue 1. Um, simply because, you know, I first want to get the smaller of the two leagues. Although I think when it comes... Nah, France is a step ahead of the Netherlands. Okay, not talking crap any, anymore. Um, there is not too much I can tell you about these leagues, although I saw one game in full and I saw a few highlights. So it's basically we look at some interesting results. I give you my feeling overall how things might be going. And I guess that will be the review vi video, which is all right, because not everything needs to be a lengthy review video. And as I said, despite me wearing Lyon, who actually probably had the most impressive win, will start in the Netherlands. Uh, Feyenoord, only a 2-2 against Valwijk, is, is one of that jumps immediately out. I did see a good chunk of Heren Veen against Ajax. And from what I could see, I, I think I didn't miss much action, but from what I could see, it was a very professional Ajax win in the sense that they didn't need to stretch themselves. They used their chances. Uh, there was very early on a little bit of a hint that they, they are a brilliant side, but then uh, they didn't do much until Tadish played to Allaire and made it 1-0 with the first shot on goal. Uh, and it must be so devastating if you're a Heron Vein uh, player or even fan that, you know, uh, you do it your all, you try to contain them and you still give up uh, the goal. In the second half, actually, especially in the first 20 minutes, Heron Vein really gave, gave it a go. I think they even hit once the woodwork. However, it was not meant to be. And then Neresh, after, another Tadi, uh, after a Tadic assist, Makes it 2-0. Uh, also noteworthy to me is that Ajax played in the Bob Marley jerseys. Yes, I do like them. Um, however, they played them with green socks because Herrn Wayne was uh, playing with black socks and that looked a little bit weird. Uh, and then in the evening, PSV got a 3-1 win over Zwolle. So ahead of the big clash next weekend. Yes, Ajax is playing PSV. Those two both get wins, and let's see how they will go through the European week. Um, another outstanding result. Utrecht had just beaten Ajax before the international break. Now they lose 5-1 to AZ. That's a pretty big result there, which kind of pegs them down uh, in the order a little bit. Just I'm wondering how AZ uh, will move up going forward. Um, but it's still Ajax's league to lose. In France, uh, you saw it in a ha headline. I mean, PSG really did not look well. Uh, there are every little bit a team of individual superstars and not a team. There is no... And yes, there were the, the South Americans were missing. It just didn't look all right. Yes, if you see highlights and you see the stats, probably the win of Angers was uh, deserved, but the work rate that Angers put in and even got the lead through full genie, uh, ahead of the half. That's the main story. I really thought that uh, from all that I could gather on the on us game, Angers would have deserved a point out of there. Danilo gives uh, PSG the equalizer, but the most galling thing is that uh, the penalty, a hand penalty, yes, it touches the hand, but it was a rather, rather fortunate call. Uh, you know, a, a rather soft call that would go uh, rather for the big than the small team and but base steps up and gives them the 2 0 win. Lille, uh, you thought they had turned the corner? No, nope. losing to Clermont th through Nsimba, love the name, Nsimba goal, Lion King somewhere in there, uh, before the half. And um, all the good momentum that Lille were building is kind of going backwards again. Again, we have to see it, it's, uh, you know, we need to think about in slots. This is now the slot between in, between in national break and uh, the next one. So between two and three. Let's see uh, how it will uh, go for It might just be that uh, a lot of little players were at an international break a little bit tired, so they need to build up momentum again. Uh, Lyon Monaco, I was actually in the end and glad. I mean, I watched Milan, of course, at the same time, but I wanted to pull, pull it on. But uh, from what I see, it was not the greatest of games. Uh, largely anonymous for most, most of the time, only when Paqueta and Cadavere came on, the tide turned and towards uh, Lyon. Um, who took the lead only through an Akambi penalty, which I think was all right. 
Uh, but there was then rather little coming from Monaco itself. Uh, I think just a half chance. And then uh, very, very late, Park Paketa with a, a great pass to Emerson. And then uh, he plays it to Denayer. Makes it 2-0 in the 90th. Uh, really big win. Uh, Rennes. Another huge win, 3-0 uh, at Metz. So they are moving up. They're actually in the expected standing, the one that move, moves up the uh, furthest. Um, we also uh, have, you know, but don't know, this kind of traditional duel of two powers that are a little bit hitting uh, the hard times. The Strasbourg win, 5-1 over Saint Etienne, is someone that, uh, that kind of pops, of course. Uh, Lance losing to Montpellier. Lance were in second uh, space uh, uh, before this round and then OM uh, kind of, I, th I know this was 1-1 one, one at, at one point, but uh, they win it 4-1 over Lorient. So uh, seeing them uh, move up further as well, you know, they have to make up game against Nice uh, that is still to come. So as I said, rather shortish video. Uh, however, this is where you really would come in. If you have anything to say about uh, these two leagues, please drop a line below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click that little bell. So in order to stay updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. With that, have a good day.